All right, welcome back. So today I'm doing my ColourPop um, Project Pan. Um, this is all ColourPop Project Pan. If you like Project Pans, if you like me. Um, I need to get, wish I can move my camera so you can see my kitties. Um, Quinn's with the babies and he has a name my cat freaking put in. Uh, I'm going to name one of the babies put in. He's a tame kitty. I need to post pictures of it on Instagram. I just haven't done that yet lately. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start off with... Um, so for this guy, I did actually finish um, my, um, the one from Squeeze, what was that do you thing? Oh, the avocado one that I had, I did finish that one. I forgot to say the packaging, oops. Um, that's in my empties, you wanna check that out. Um, so that's completely gone. I was actually getting very tired of using it, so I just finished, I had like a tad bit left, so I'm like, I'm just gonna use this up body lotion. Okay, so here's my lipstick. This is um, in um, Gold Digger. This is the la this is the matte um, X line it has a little bit crack on top of his head but yeah so this way he looks like so yeah i keep forgetting to mark them because this happens these things you don't get much progress it's only about the size of a mini um lipstick i'm gonna might stick them in my um my regular makeup section so i can use them as a blush because he's getting kind of um neglected a little bit um he's getting kind of lost in my little section so that's what I have um, left. So hopefully I can get this guy out next month. This is my last ColourPop lipstick of all of them. I don't have any of the wiggle lipsticks. I use up all the chubby sticks because every single one of these suckers has gone bad on me. Um, oh, getting close. And I just stuck. He's about there. He's starting to um, he's starting to change a little bit. He's the last one of his dookie kind. Um, so hopefully I can kick his ass out. All right, next guy is my foundation. I did a little bit of progress on this one. I'm still trying to get my Franken one done. Um, after that, I'm probably gonna work on this one because, or yeah, probably this one would be the most target this one. So hopefully next month, this guy will go straight down, um, get skinnier and flatter and yeah, not much she said. But yeah, hopefully, yeah. So I'm probably still where exactly where I'm at in this guy. So yeah, maybe does a tad bit lower than I was, but not much. Um, but yeah, hopefully this guy can get a little bit flatter. I do wear occasionally, but I have to use my um, Becca um, luminizer and like in the bronzy one over it. <clears throat> I put the Becca over my face and I put this on top. So to, um, cause this guy is too light. Um, this is basically a, maybe an NC30. Um, I swatch this probably like 6,000 times, but why not? So let me swatch it for you. Maybe, maybe 35. Probably by NC35. This would have, um, and this one is in medium deep, to believe it or not. This would have fit me when I was lighter, um, when I was my NC35. Now I'm an NC40-ish. Um, depends on the year. I can, like, like when I blend it out, you can tell, you tell the difference between my hand and my skin. Um, between the... You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so I need a little bit of help for him to make him a little bit nicer. Okay, so here's the next guy. This is in She Lit. Um, I didn't really use him too much. He is starting to dry out a little bit. These are two. I have him and I have his buddy. I'm just going to throw him in as well. This guy as well. Um, so this is what his buddy looks like. I have not hit the jaw yet. You get a lot of product. This is the only one that's like kind of like not really... I guess he's in my Halloween one. He's an alien of his kind because um, this one I can also use as a um, highlighter. So let me swatch these for you. This one has a little bit more, more lint. It's a little bit more creamy than the other one. That one is dry as a prune. But I do use it as a top or um, top, like a glitter. I mean, it still has a little bit. It's not too bad. So these are these. So this one I can use as a base. This one, don't even think about it. That one's not happening as a highlight. I tried it once and I was like, okay, Sarah, you're not that dark. Um, it always happens. I'm like, yeah, it's not too bad today. Sometimes this part doesn't like to hold, these part right here doesn't like to hold pigment for some reason. It's weird. Okay, so let's get into my palette. Um, it's this guy here. It's a Dream Street from Kathleen Lights. I did a little bit of Franken, so he looks a little bit new. So if you want to know the, um, the other one that I have, um, 
from the old the old one the, the first one they ever came out that one i did some it was like all orangey tans i was basically going like this with my brush anyways to make a bronzer so i'm like might as well make a bronzer of it so, and then i took some of the orange ones and out and i put them in this guy so this is what he looks like now so um the ones that are not this is in that um one palette i forget where he was um it was like a purpley palette which is okay i did hit paint on him this is i think this is the remaining one um this one i pressed in for something this is from that um that that one palette that i was trying to paint i keep forgetting who it's called but yeah so and i think this is original so this is kind of, I did have, actually this is all I've um, been using in my one palette from um, the Unzip and I franken that a little bit so you can see that later. I don't, I'm like, why am I showing my makeup? The inner corners actually is um, this yellow. It's like a, the, this one's the one I wasn't sure how to use it because well, I know how to use it, stick on your eyes. But it's one of those things that it doesn't really show up like a true yellow. It's a very pastel like yellow. Like it's gonna be like very passive when you use know, a transition shade, but it works really great as an inner corner. So that's what that is. So I have that. Um, so hopefully I can make more progress on that one. Um, it's kind of a cute little palette now. Okay, so I'm also bringing it in this palette right here. This is Sweet Talk. Um, ColourPop did like a bundle set. They had this one and they have the other one was the What's Up palette. And I wanted the What's Up palette. I didn't really want the Sweet Talk because yeah, does that look like my liking? No. Um, these are uh, pressed glitters, of course. Um, I don't mind them. I don't think they're they're okay. They're whatever. This one's a uh, uh, what you call it shadow. That's this one is just gonna be like. I don't get why ColourPop throws these stupid super shock, um, shock, super shock shadows in their palettes because they don't last. I'm like. He's not even that old. He's maybe not even in a year, about a year or a half old, and he's already drying up like a prune. This one I do like to use mix with the other one palette, and other than that, this one, um, because for me, um, let me give you some. Stories. This one is I do like that shade, but the problem is like this palette right here is not a standalone palette for my liking because I just don't do lights. I tried, uh, nope. Um, not happening. Dude, no freaking way. Um, my light makeup is basically this. <laughs> I can't, I can't do light makeup. I look like a freaking ghost. So yeah, this one does come in hand. I do, this is some of the shadows. Do use this kind of like a companion palette and that's how I'm going to try to use it up. Um, I'm probably not going to mix do any franking in this guy because i do kind of like the shades um it's not too old i can work with it the other ones the um i forget that one yes yeah there we go yes please palette um that actually is gone so that's my second i think i have like a few palettes gone this year that's one of the oldest palette i actually i had it my sister actually gave it to me um i'm like okay i depart you and i'm getting you back okay <laughs> um so yeah and this was actually my sister's as well i think which I did the same thing. But yeah, so technically this one is the oldest palette in my collection, except for one I got from AliExpress that is similar to the Vice 2, which of course is a fake. Um, but I, I love it to death. So I hope you guys like this update. Um, comment, subscribe, like I said, um, and I talk to you guys later in my next one. Not sure what. Bye, guys.